it's Viva Melly. Welcome to the channel. So today we are watching episode 6 of The Walking Dead. But before we start, I have a few things I need to say. First, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I think it was episodes 5, 4, maybe 3. I can't remember. But YouTube blocked them and took them down. I'm just so... Ugh. Honestly, it's so annoying. It's really, really, really annoying when... You put so much work into your videos and then YouTube blocks them and no one can watch them. But thankfully they were blocked like a couple days later after I uploaded so hopefully most of you were able to watch them. I mean usually I would just make them then available on Patreon but I kind of switch my things around in Patreon because I have issues with Vmail because I would post my full um, reactions on Vmail. I think that's how you pronounce it. And they took my account away because I was posting the sh like full length shows and I'm just like oh my god like so many other reactors post on Vmail for their Patreon thing so I'm like why me why me why are you taking it away from me but yeah anyway so I made those videos now on Google Drive and it's just <laughs> and it's just a mess with me right now with all these issues with copyright stuff so the reason I'm telling you guys this is because I'm going to see, I'm going to edit this video differently. I'm going to change the opacity of the image. Hopefully that helps. I don't know. Because all my Walking Dead videos are manually checked. That's what it says. Like they're manually checked. So people, someone's out there video by video, either blocking it or they won't block it, but they'll put a copyright claim, which is fine. But blocking it is what kills me so yeah this video will be edited differently i'm sorry about that but i'm trying my best i don't want these videos getting blocked <laughs> second thing i want to talk about i know my channel right now is like a mess when it comes to uploads like i'm kind of uploading all these different things and i know i'm like behind on the walking dead so so i make no promises but hopefully sometime in uh february i want to do like a whole week of walking dead so like Mon Monday through Sunday every day an episode of Walking Dead hopefully so maybe I can get like ahead a little bit because I feel like I'm so behind on the show but cross your fingers guys I'm gonna try to get that done but I make no promises because my life school life and just all the stuff that I have is difficult for me to film like all the time so yeah anyways with all that being said let's watch we're, wa we're on episode 6 and I'm really excited because in the last episode, where did we live off? We left off with our, our girl Andrea. She shot Daryl and Daryl's like um, injured, but I think he'll be fine. Like he looks like he's a strong man. He'll be fine. We have a little bit of lead on where Sophia might be because Daryl found that doll. And oh, yes, yes. The, the farm full of zombies, the walkers that are Herschel's. Well, I think it's Herschel's family because Herschel is so like overprotective and then he talked to Rick in that one scene that he he knows there's like a cure out there. He has like a lot of hope for one. So I'm sure that's his family and you guys in the comments uh, confirmed that for me. So that's his family in the farm and the, what's the barn, I mean. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoy, please remember to subscribe. Let's get into it. <laughs> Oh my god! Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm gonna take off the subtitles. I don't like taking them off, but I want to be able to flip the image when I edit. So, and hopefully they'll give me another like little defense against YouTube and they won't block my video. Okay. Oh my god, what are you gonna do? She's gonna feed the zombies, isn't she? Damn. That sucks. I, you know, I thought... Hold on. I thought only a Herschel... No, I knew they were all in this, but I thought... Herschel was the only one that thought it was okay, but it looks like everybody else is also okay with this. Oh my gosh. Oh, man. This is not that great, but... Oh, no pictures. 
I'm so sorry. I feel like shit. Yeah, you and me both. I don't expect you to forgive me, but if there's anything I can do... I'm trying to protect the crew. We're good. Oh, Daryl! I swear, this boy... I keep stopping the video. <laughs> but this boy's gonna make me fall in love. He's so sweet! Oh, they're by. <laughs> you have a medical condition. I'll make another run into town. Just tell me what you need. I need you to be quiet about this. All right. Oh, poor Glenn. He's just trying to do his best to help. I don't think she's. Well, no. I was going to say. How many times am I going to stop the video? But I was going to say that. She's not, she doesn't know the gravity, is that the word? Gra gravity? Gravity? Of this problem? Is that the word? <laughs> but, no, I think she does know, she knows best, like, what's happening to her. But, I think right now she's just, doesn't want to think about it. She wants to ignore that it's, the problem is there. And that's why she doesn't want to talk about it. And she doesn't want no prenatals and nothing. But she, if she's going to have the baby, she's going to need to do all this stuff. Because worst case scenario, what if she, okay, yeah, she gives birth and the baby is, like, sick because she didn't take uh, good care of herself and that's going to make be even more of a problem. What's going on? I want to learn to shoot, too. Can you teach me? Ugh. <laughs> I'm ass. It's up to your parents. Can you talk to them? They'll listen to you. See what you got there. <laughs> so we can't get around. How the hell did this happen? I have my concerns too, but there's no but. He was just shot. He's just back on his feet, and he wants a gun. Better than him being afraid of him. There are guns in camp for a reason. He should learn to handle them safely. I don't want my kid walking around with a gun. How can you defend that? Sure enough to handle the gun. I'm not gonna play with it, Mom. It, it's not a toy. I'm sorry I disappointed you, but I want to look for Sophia. I want to defend our camp. I can't do that without a gun. Gosh, <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. Is so tense because I agree. Oh my hair! I agree that he should learn how to defend himself. But I know this show is. You know, this show's crazy. I know something bad's gonna happen because he learned how to shoot a gun. <sighs> I swear, if he shoots somebody... What? Ah, I remember. I remembered. You... Oh, wait. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, so... Spoiler alert. Please skip the next, like, maybe 20 seconds. I'm gonna try to be fast. But if you guys haven't watched... I don't know if you guys have played the games, the Walking Dead games. But the last game... Okay, so spoiler happens right here. Um... AJ, he, Clementine taught him how to use a gun and AJ shot like one of the kids or whatever because he was acting um, aggressive and that kind of thing made a whole mess and it just shows that kids still don't, like these kids, even though the world they're in is crazy, it shows that they're not mentally like ready yet, you know, like they don't know what decisions, what consequences come from them, so... Even though I agree that he needs to learn how to defend himself, I feel like guns, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it either. I'm on, on this, this time, I'm on Lori's side. <laughs> Seriously. And you will behave responsibly. And if I hear from anyone in this camp that you are not living up to our expectations. He won't let you down. Yeah. What if somebody told you something that somebody else should... No, oh, then stop being dramatic. Spit it out. <laughs> there's, there's walkers in the barn and Lori's pregnant. <gasps> he just laid it out for Dale like that. Poor Dale's gonna get a heart attack. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, come on, man. Don't give me that gangster shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. 
she got the hang of it. Say she's ready for the advanced class. <laughs> Might be worth your while after the rest of us head back to camp. Sure, why not? I ended up by the barn. Oi, 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 oi. I heard the moans. It's unfortunate. But I've seen people that I cared about die and come back and dare not people. My wife and stepson are in that barn. They're people. Keep this to yourself if you want to help. Rick is a man of conscience, but are you so sure about everyone in your group? Oh, hold on, hold on. Someone's calling me. He's a man of conscience, but are you so sure about everyone in your group? <laughs> That's true. Who doesn't have conscience? Our girl Andrea, she gets a little heated sometimes. Lori, too. Stop badgering me! You know, you're too damn emotional. You need to shut it down. Take all that guilt, take that fear, that being pissed off, take it out. Right, because you're so calm. See, I can be pissed off. I could be whistling Dixie, and I always hit the target. But you, God, you shoot like a damn girl. He's ten feet away! He's nine feet! He's five feet away right there! That's the walker that got Amy. Now you shoot that son of a bitch! Shoot him! <laughs> oh, that's a little too much. Is that an apology? I crossed the line when I brought Amy into it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's an apology. I lead on Sophia. I'm gonna check it out. Just come with me. Be my backup. My wife was pregnant once. Dale was the wrong person to tell. He just lets it out like this, too. Oh, my God. That's so funny. She's probably like, Mom? <laughs> Miscarried. And we didn't try again after that. I'm so sorry. Glenn told you. What did you expect? The boy has no guile. I haven't told Rick. I can't. Because of the shame? Memories are what keep me going now. Memories of what life used to be. And I... I got a deep well to draw on. I still remember joy. But I think Carl's well is already running dry. And this baby... Baby won't have any good memories at all. Only fear and pain. You can't think like that. <laughs> we can still find joy. My baby. Grow up to be your age and... and I still have to have hope, woman. Hope. Hope is what keeps them going. But once they lose it, that's it, you know? Oh, boy. Did he bit her? Did he bite her? Did we get you? Did bite you? Oh. Now she's gonna know. These people ain't. Oh, God. Oh, that poor girl, though. This is so traumatizing. Oh. I kind of feel like crying for her. That poor thing. But now she knows these people ain't messing around. These walkers are not. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm trying to think if I was in that position and my family were walkers, like, I would also not be able to do anything. Like, oh, it would kill me. 
Oh my god. We got your stuff. Meg, hang on, please. Come, come on in here. Why? Nothing to hide. We got special delivery right here. We got the lotion, special conditioner, the soap opera digest. Meg. Next time you want something, get us your damn self. We're not your errand boys. Honey, I'm... Here's your abortion pills. Damn, I did not think she was gonna... Well, okay. Whew, hold on, hold on. Damn, she asked for plan B abortion pills. Like, I understand where she's coming from. Like, what her thought process is when in this type of world, bringing a baby is dangerous, you know? Like, but... Like I said before, there's always hope for, you know, hope for a good life. You never know. So, I hope she doesn't go through with it. I hope she tells Rick and helps, like, gets help, you know, like, opinions, um, thoughts, you know. I feel like she's just trying to handle this all alone. It's no good. It's no good. I really hope she doesn't go through with the pills and stuff. You know, for a smart guy, you're really stupid. Because I think you just paid me a compliment, but you made it up. I've already lost three of the people that I care about most in this world. Maggie. Shut up. You're smart. You're brave. You're a leader. But you don't know it, and your friends don't want to know it. They'd rather have you fetching peaches. Just a dead guy in the well, send Glenn down. The walker bait. I can't take you becoming one of them. You know, that's so true. I didn't even think about that because when it was the well thing, I did notice they were like, we need, they were like, we need live bait. And they, everybody turned and looked at Glenn. And I was, I was kind of confused. I was like, why? It's because he's maybe skinnier, more athletic. And then he's the one that does all the errands. Like everyone has their job. I never saw him as like bait. That kind of makes me sad. I'm pretty sure the group doesn't look at him as like be, but I don't know. Glenn ain't bait, okay? He's not bait. <laughs> He's important. He's one of my favorite characters. He's going through so much in this episode. Come on, let's move. I really hate how fast they are, man. These ain't zombies. These are <laughs> runners. Oh, they're practicing. I thought they were going to run away. Are you kidding me? Well, I got your back. Now go. Come on, girl. We can do this. Oh, my gosh. She turned off the switch. She's so in control now. Way. She's always trying to prove herself. Morning after folks, will they even work? I don't know. I don't know if I want them to. Then, uh, got these two. Just in case. Prenatals. Vitamins. Prenatal vitamins. <sighs> I want to cry. <laughs> Ah, yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, she shouldn't be doing this by herself. But I know it's hard. It's hard. She can't. She doesn't want to tell anybody, but. Look at her and her smile. She's always like this. When she shot Daryl, she also smiled like that. It annoys me. Put on part. Oh, there we go. <laughs> She's gonna take all of them. Oh. 
I, I can't see throw up. I can't see throw up. Did she throw them all up? Oh my god. For a second, you got that nice new ride of yours. Plenty of fuel. More than enough for you to get far from here. What'd you tell me to leave? I know you've been planning to. Maybe now is a good time. <laughs> is this bad, Andrea? Oh yeah, I forget he's overprotective of Andrea. I forget that. He feels like a father to her. He's like, oh, boy, you've been playing with my daughter. <laughs> but he has to understand that Andrea's not his daughter or his wife or anything. He's she's just a friend, a comrade. So he can't be making these decisions for her. And honestly, even though Shane's a little butthead sometimes, he is vital to the group because of him they've survived so much. Even though he's gone a little crazy here and there, but He's protected, protected them. And I feel like if he leaves, the group's defense goes, like, it'll go down. So I don't think it's a good idea for him to leave. Out of here, that's what you've said. A little boy lived because of what went down that night. I think you ought to show some gratitude. I wasn't there. No, man, you weren't. But I was the time that you raised your gun on Rick. You had him in your sights, and you held him there. That's my best friend. That's a man that I love. I love him like he's my brother. You think that's the kind of man I am? That's right. Well, maybe we ought to just think that through. Say, I'm the kind of man who gunned down his own best friend. What'd you think I'd do to some guy that I don't even like? When he starts throwing accusations my way, what you think? Oh, man. He is scary, Shane. I mean, I knew he was crazy, but that was really scary. Uh, I don't know. Dale, I like him. Like, I love him, you know? But he's really, like, straight to the point. And when you're in these type of situations, you gotta watch what you say, even though you want to say what you want to say. But, like, you gotta be careful. Is Shane crazy? Me and you, Shane, was gonna shoot down his best friend, like what he just said. <laughs> oh, I just hope Shane don't kill poor Dale. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh my god, he's gonna find the pills. He's gonna find the pills! Is this something you need to tell me? We can't leave. I'm pregnant. Are you? I threw him up. Uh, you just tell me we have no roof and no wall. I do not put this on me! You tear into me for keeping secrets when you're, when you're holding on to this! You want me to bring a baby into this? To live a short, cruel life? How can you think like that? We can't protect the son we already have. So this is the solution. I don't know how we do this. Yeah, okay. I understand why Rick is mad, but this is this was both of them, you know? Like, she can't, can't get alone pregnant by herself, you know? He needs him. They both... This is both their problem and their blessing. <laughs> Takes two to tango. <laughs> okay, I need to stop. Shouldn't we try to figure it out? You you really think I'd make you have a baby you don't want? No, no son. So that if I went through with it, it would be on my conscience and not yours. Is there anything else I should know about? I don't think so, right? I don't remember any other secrets other than the barn, but she doesn't know that. Oh, shame. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did she tell him about Shane? Hold on. Shane and I. Oh, my God. I know. Of course I know. Thought I was dead. The world went to shit and you thought I was dead. Oh, his like reaction to that. His reaction to that, I was not, you know, I always know that Rick is a very understanding, very morally good. Like, he's very good. And, but even if you're that good, you still get angry, you know? So I thought he was gonna be angry. Now, it does remind me from that scene where it's like a flashback and um, Lori is talking to her friend while trying to pick up Carl. And she says that that they always fight but she gets angry because 
uh, Rick never like gets angry with her, even though she's saying all these mean things to, her, to him. So he's always been like this. <gasps> but ma'am, it's finally out then. I'm happy it's finally out. It's like a she probably has a weight off her shoulders, and she's positive it's his baby. So I thought it was gonna be Shane's, but kind of. Because I feel like that would make the drama more juicy. But I feel like maybe there's already too much drama going on. They don't need that either. They don't need that to add to the drama. I'm glad she spit those pills out, girl. No, no, no. Even though I said before, like, bringing a baby and I agree, exactly agree with what she's saying. Like, this is a terrible world to bring a baby in. And someone commented, like, babies cry all the time. So that's like a siren for walkers. And I hope. That's, see, I always say that. I hope. And I feel like these people need to hold on to that hope that something good would happen of all these characters dearly and i just hope and i hope 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 they all survive and man shane when he what he said to dale yes dale oh my god oh gosh that is scary i was scared for dale i hope dale doesn't go die like that that's nuts that's nuts and then uh, uh, Shane with Andrea, they got the whole down throw down. I was, I know, I was kind of expecting, not expecting them to do it, but I was, I kind of knew they were going to get together, you know, because they've been hanging around <laughs> a lot. And I don't know, I guess these people, they need to feel something. So but Andrea was crazy. She went right at it. Oh gosh. <laughs> at first, I said she was trying to get his gun. But she was trying to get something else. Yeah, that's nuts. That's crazy. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like I talked a lot throughout the video. I had a lot of thoughts. But if I don't say them, like, at the moment, I'm going to forget. Like, right now, I can't, I'm, like, forgetting what happened. <laughs> so I can't remember if I wanted to say anything else. But I hope I got my thoughts through throughout the video. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very, 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 like, drama. It was, like, drama everywhere. It was fun to film. Walking Dead videos are always so fun to film. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.